Hi, welcome to Balanced Health. I'm Shirley Rose and this is Joe Costello. Today we're tackling vitamin supplements. What are they? Are they really necessary? After all, if you eat a proper diet, aren't you supposed to be getting all the nutrients you need? Many think that they're sticking with that food pyramid, but how many of you are really eating five servings of fruits and vegetables each day? And even if you are taking that much in, are you really storing and preparing the foods properly to ensure that you're getting the maximum benefit? Well, chances are that you're not, which is where vitamin supplements come in. Today, we're consulting our own resident health activist and who I consider an expert on supplements, Joe Costello, and he's gonna talk about the pros, cons, and all the confusion about supplements. But first, we do have nutrition in the news, Joe, and actually, your nutrition in the news is regarding Supplements. It is. One Amazingly. Of, one of the key vitamins <laughs> of the day, Shirley. Today's dose of nutrition in the news deals with vitamin D. It's probably time to revise official advice about how much is enough. We've known for a long time that vitamin D is crucial to bone health, but research is now showing that it's active in many other tissues and may offer some protection against a range of diseases, including cancers. To get this benefit, though, we likely need more than the current <coughs> recommended amounts. And Shirley, that's not only true with vitamin D, it's true with so many other, and we'll talk right. about that, but uh, vitamin D, known as the sunshine vitamin, mm -hmm. because we can, and we can get it from the sun, is starting to uh, play a role. It was always kind of the forgotten vitamin. It was always kind of like, well, we've had it on the list, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's had an RDA, you know, let's just keep it there. Yeah. Um, I, let me just read a couple quick things, if, okay. I, if I can, about vitamin D and, and, and the kind of news that it's making, in addition to what we just talked about. Uh, researchers gave evidence that boosting vitamin D intake could help reduce the risk of breast cancer. Now, this is from wow. the American Association for Cancer Research. Wow. Uh, another group studied 1,500, over 1,500 women. Scientists found that risk uh, fell steadily with increasing blood levels of vitamin D. The highest levels correlated with a 50% reduced risk of breast cancer compared with the lowest amounts. Um, I have not heard that, and that's, that's amazing. <laughs> well, and you know. That's pretty amazing for the mainstream medical community to release um, studies like that as, as it relates to vitamins is, is pretty revelationary in it, a sense that they're, they're very reticent to do so, and, and some of it with good cause. All um, right, but sure. you, know, you know that if this is in the news, if it's been released by the Cancer Society, then there's, there's gotta be something to it. There is, and I'll tell you one thing, um, when we go into the fall, winter months, uh, there's something called SAD, which is Seasonal Affective Disorder, acronym SAD. And it's because we are getting less light every day. Mm -hmm. um, I have known many, many people with this, but one, one particular person is a, is a dear friend of mine. And from whatever, April to October, he is one person. And when October hits, he is just an entirely different person. And I tried so vigorously to get him to try taking vitamin D with cod liver oil, um, and he was convinced it was just, you know, fooey until he saw studies similar to this hmm. that were put out by organizations whose names he's recommended, and he tried it, and it just worked. Just, I'll say miracles. You know, the miracles. Well, I, I get God very created. sad in October, November when the weather's, but I can't say it's really seasonal depression or anything. But I just hate winter. Well, especially in, in women, you know, there's a hormonal change from that the change in that light. Mm. And that's how to see they're tying this all because vitamin D wow. really is a type of hormone. So they're, they're that's they're tying this all in, especially to women's health. It's very it's a very relative to men's health as well. Um, many people r r recognize vitamin D with the sun. So again, we try and keep everything balanced here. So some people say, well, if I just get tons of sun, you know, when I get sunburnt and I get black, you know, I'm getting tons of vitamin yeah. D. First of all, your body will cap off at how much vitamin D it can absorb from the sun, okay? okay. It will regulate itself. So whereas we can overdose on vitamin D that we take ourselves, you can't overdose the vitamin D on the sun. Correct. You just get sunburned. Right? Yes, and what happens is, and here's a good rule of thumb. About, first of all, depending on what time of day, you know, closer to noon to less, but a good rule of thumb for getting vitamin D from the sun is about 20 minutes or so. But you can oh, just okay. put your finger on your skin. And if you lift up your finger and it goes, it, it's whiter than the rest of your hmm. skin, you're starting to get burnt. Huh. And that's the time you really need to get out of the sun. Okay. You can go back out, but you need to go inside and completely cool down your okay. body temperature. Because what happens is when your, sun, when your skin starts getting burnt, that's when these free radicals on the skin can start having their way, and skin that's cancer. when it gets yeah, skin and, cancer. Yeah, and it's very dangerous, especially with the ozone layer being diminished and everything. But it, it, it also, I'm sure, uh, uh, varies depending on your coloring, your, your coloration, your complexion. I know, like, you know, my daughter, who's, who has Indian and, and Hispanic blood, can certainly stay out in the sun longer than I can. 
I'm right. German and Irish, you know. And I'm I mean, Mediterranean Italian. So, I mean, yeah. you know, we so, uh, you have the olive complexed really. skin and, um, you know, we, we could take an awful lot of sun. So, But anyway, back to vitamin D, that, that's one way. But we obviously, especially if you live in Chicago, you don't get enough vitamin D from the sunshine. No, uh, well, seasonal affective disorder is so prevalent in the Midwest and the Northeast that nobody can question the validity of that illness because it's just virtually non-existent in the West and in the South. That is so, so interesting. Uh, there's, there's a couple things people can do. There, there's lights, there are typical type of lights that are sold out there. Um, they're very expensive, but they last a long time. Um, you could buy them at, May, at just about any, even Home Depot sells them. Really? They look like a little curly Q bulb. Okay. And um, they're about 15 bucks for a bulb. So you say, geez, 15 bucks for a bulb, but they last a long time. And it is the closest simulation of sunlight but they don't give, you don't get vitamin D from those lights. No, you won't get vitamin D from those lights, but as far as the seasonal affective okay. disorder, and, I, and I'm, just, I'm, I'm on this subject because it's so prevalent, yeah. um, I have those in my home, and I have them in my office. Really? So in my office, I sit under that light uh, yeah. all the time. It's and cheerier. Then, it is cheerier. <laughs> it's cheerier. It's a very right? white, white, bright light. And uh, cod liver oil uh, with vitamin D is great to take from, like, October to April. Okay. Um, but what you want to be careful of, many physicians now are taking vitamin D levels that's where all this testing came, um, because they found women with breast cancer had, had uh, blood levels in the low 30s, hmm. 35, um, and, and, and those were the ones that were prone to disease. But you, you don't want that level to really go above. Here in the study, it says 52. I'm thinking more like 50 is about as high okay. as you want that in your blood level. So if you continue to take cod liver oil throughout the summer and get the sunshine, you You're can't. You're going to get too much. And let me tell you. Overdosing on vitamin D is not a pretty thing. No, it's, it's, a, well, it's a rough road. Okay, well, because it's a fat-soluble it's a vitamin. Fat -soluble. We're gonna it hangs talk up about in the that. liver. Yeah, we're going to talk about that later. But for more information on today's Nutrition in the News, you can check out www.tln.com and click on Shows and then Balanced Health. Or you can get a copy of today's show by calling 888-242-9393. And up next, will megadosing on vitamin C help you get over a cold quicker and with less Kleenex? Find out after the break.